We begin our tour at the Engineering Society's Coffee and Donut Shop, commonly referred to as the C&D. The C&D is home to the cheapest coffee on campus, and you can make it even cheaper by bringing your own mug. It'll save you 10 cents. Just past the C&D is Poets. Poets is our engineering student lounge, home to foosball, pool, movies, and general socializing. Located just down the hall from Poets is the Engineering Society office, more commonly referred to as the Orifice. Open Monday to Friday, this is the place to visit when you have any questions related to the Engineering Society, need to borrow a stapler, or bind your work report. Having trouble in your classes? Worried you're in the wrong program? The First Year Office is your go-to place for everything academics. Douglas Wright Engineering, more commonly known as DWE, is home to the Civil and Environmental Engineering Departments. As DWE is home to over 20 classrooms and labs, there is a high chance you will have at least some of your classes here, regardless of your program. J.R. Coots Engineering Lecture Hall, or RCH for short, holds the largest engineering lecture hall as well as many other classrooms. RCH also contains the fishbowl. See you there! Connecting RCH, DWE, and CPH is Engineering 2, or E2 for short. E2 is home to several electrical, civil, and computer labs, as well as the Weave TA office. Weave TAs are upper year students who are available to assist you in many of your classes. Just down the hall from the Weave TA office is the Weave Lab. Recently renovated, the Weave Lab hosts many of the first year labs. Also accessible through E2 is Engineering 3. E3 holds many mechanical engineering labs and the machine shop. On the other side of Ring Road, you'll find Engineering 5, which is home to the Mechanical, Mechatronics, and Systems Design Engineering Department. Within E5, you'll also find the Cedra Student Design Center and the Weef Machine Shop. The Design Center is where engineering student teams, such as the Concrete Toboggan and Midnight Sun Solar Car teams, work to design, build, and test their projects. Open to all students, the Weave Machine Shop provides any undergraduate engineering student with access to trained staff and the equipment needed to build out any idea. Engineering 6 is home to the Chemical Engineering Department. Like E5, E6 is one of the newer buildings on campus, with classrooms and labs for chemical engineering students. Across from E5, you'll find the Davis Center, or DC for short. DC is home to one of the two libraries on campus, as well as a software engineering department. Across from DC, you'll find the Center for Environmental and Information Technology, or EIT for short. EIT is sometimes referred to as the Dinosaur Building, as it is home to the Earth Sciences Museum. Additionally, EIT holds the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Not far from DC is the Math and Computing Building, once home to a huge mainframe computer now contains many lecture halls. As such, it's not unusual for engineering students to have classes here. The Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis Quantum Nano Center, or QNC, is home to the Nano Engineering Department 
and contains shared research space for the Institute of Quantum Computing and the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology. In the Student Life Center, or SLC, you'll find the Federation of Students' Offices, the Used Bookstore, Bomber, our campus pub, and many other student services, including the Health and Dental Plan Offices, Campus Tech, the Turnkey Desk, and Greyhound and Go Transit Ticket Sales. Conveniently located across from the SLC is our newly renovated health services building. Feeling sick? Need to see a doctor? Visit health services and their friendly staff will do their best to look after you. Heading back towards engineering, we'll pass the Dana Porter Library. Home to many floors of books and study cubicles, DP can be a great spot to hold a group meeting or catch up on studying. Just across from DWE is the Tatham Center, more commonly known as TC, or even more commonly known as the Co-op Building. This is where the on-campus, Skype, and phone interviews are held. The Center for Career Action, located within TC, is a great place to get assistance with your resume, preparing for an interview, or finding a co-op placement.